Tell me what's the hold up, baby Tell me why your phone's off Lately, I don't wanna go off Crazy, but I think I'm losing it Tell me where your heart Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel If you don't know who I am, my name is Reese. This is my BD channel where we come to slay especially on a budget and if you're new don't forget to hit that red button down below and turn on your post notifications as you can see i tried out this new half braided hairstyle this hair is brought to you by clay hair company of course i'm gonna show you what's inside the box how i customize this unit as well as a full review and hair tutorial on how i create this half braided unit so if that's something you're interested in then keep on watching you guys Bye. Lisa, do you think you overdid it with our hair? Uh-uh. Nope. I sure don't. Because we're going to Beverly Hills. Now, if I'm going to do good at that audition, we got to look like stars. So, in this box, I received a goodie bag. I received a wig cap, a comb, earrings, and eyelashes. This unit is a natural colored water wave 13 by 4 lace frontal unit with a virgin texture this is 150 percent density at 24 inches with adjustable combs and straps i love to use my bw2 powder and 40 volume developer mix that together and create a nice thick consistency i'm taking my got to be glue blast free spray and i'm going to spray that all throughout the hairline to push back or comb back these baby hairs so we do not over bleach what i like to do is use a plastic knife and just lay the bleach in the frontal this will help you apply the bleach with more precision and this is the final result of me having the bleach on i do leave this on for about 15 minutes once the knots are turned, I like to wash out the bleach first and rinse out the hair with warm water. I'm going to take my WOW shampoo and use that to wash off the rest of the bleach and wash the whole unit. Make sure you wash your units before wearing it on top of your head because you never know what products or anything that is in this hair that can cause your real hair to break off so make sure you wash all of your units you guys here I'm taking my shimmer lights conditioner and putting that throughout the frontal this helps get rid of the orangeiness and the brassiness of the bleached units and then I'm taking my wow conditioner and applying that throughout the rest of the hair This is the next day I did let this wig air dry and here I'm combing out the pre-plucked baby hairs and I'm going to flatten that out with my hot comb. As you can see I have a white towel under my lace frontal unit so I can see how the hair is going to look. The hairline looks amazing already but of course I'm going to go in and pluck some more. If you are interested in a detailed version of how to pluck your lace frontal like a pro, definitely check out my other tutorial. So I am doing the ball cap method just because we are braiding up this wig. So I want to make sure my ball cap is balding. Well, not balding, but you know what I mean. Like you got to make sure you look very bald headed under so it can be very seamless with these braids.
So it's wig review time. So some pros I have about this unit is the quality of the hair is bomb. I love the texture, super bomb. I love the color. It's like a natural black color so you don't have to re-dye this hair black if you are looking for a very dark colored wig. I love the texture. Water Wave is always my number one go-to for wig textures because it's super less maintenance. It's not high maintenance, it's low maintenance. <laughs> so I love the texture. The hair itself is beautiful. I keep saying that. The lace, when I tell you the knots bleached super fast on this unit, so definitely check, make sure you have an eye on this unit when you're bleaching the frontal but it took very very well i love the construction of this unit some cons i do have about this unit is i wish it was a little bit more lace around the ear area but honestly it still fits me perfectly so it's an average cap size so more like small to medium and it fits me really good so for my larger hair headed babes i'm sorry this wig might not be for you but I don't have too many cons on this wig whatsoever. Like for the price, it's hella bomb. I just wish it was maybe more thicker. It's only 150%. So maybe opt in on purchasing some more tracks if you want a more thicker and fuller look. But I was able to do this hairstyle at 150% density. But that's overall for my wig review. I'm just gonna explain to you guys how I'm prepping for these braids. As you can see, I separated my frontal from my tracks and I am doing a very, very thin parting from the tracks to the frontal, if that makes sense. So I'm just hiding the tracks, but I'm trying to use as much of the lace as possible for this braiding tutorial. So here I'm just prepping it, making sure with my wax stick and hot comb it's as flat as possible. Definitely, you guys, watch other creators' reviews as well, just so you know and you're not wasting your money. Um, I always stress that enough you guys make sure you are seeing multiple reviews and not just one review so here I'm just cutting off the access lace I was on Pinterest and I found this cute hairstyle like I really wanted to try it so bad but I was scared because you know I'm not good at braiding hair but you know practice makes perfect so I definitely love testing myself and um, just going beyond the barriers of hair <laughs> so here I am separating my baby hairs from the frontal as you can see on the picture, it was very, um, it was baby hairs all around the perimeter. So that's why I'm parting all of around my perimeter. And then I like to take my wig dealer spray and put that in between the lace and the baby hairs and just waiting for that to dry up and then putting an elastic band over it so it can I can know it will melt and look like my scalp. So now it's time to style. I have the inspo pick on the screen so you guys can see how I'm going about this. I'm starting on the right side first and make sure you have some banana clips on hand and make sure that your tracks are not showing. So here I'm just parting it to where the tracks are covered so it can look like it's my scalp. So make sure you have those clips out of your way or clips so the hair can be out of your way 
I really wanted to add hair to this unit like to add like the knotless method but I don't know how to add hair to braids so we're just gonna use whatever the hair that is provided on this lace frontal I am doing the three strand uh, braiding method one thing I can't explain to you guys is braiding so just make sure you practice I taught myself how to braid it took me maybe like three years to perfect it and for me to able to be able to show you guys this so maybe one day I'll be able to try to teach you how to braid but there's so many tutorials on how to braid make sure your parts are super crisp you want to make sure it's bomb like I wanted to make sure it looks exactly like this picture that you see up on the screen so I parted my hair diagonal and then here I am still working on the right side of the unit The middle back braid was literally the easiest braid to do because you didn't have to cornrow it all the way down. But here I'm now working on the left side. This actually wasn't that bad, especially if you did how I parted it. It made it super easy and then the left side I just continued to braid, part and braid at a diagonal. So now I am on the left side. This is the longest braid. I just want to shout out myself for actually being able to create this style and it turning out so bomb. Like, wow, I'm so proud of myself. Definitely let me know if you guys have any um, hair tutorials or hair inspo pics that you want me to recreate because. I am up for the challenge like I've been pushing myself a lot these past couple of weeks and you guys been seeing it too so don't be afraid to DM me a photo like hey try out this one cuz I'll be so down <laughs> So now that I pressed out my edges here, I'm just gonna cut them up and use a pencil flat iron to curl these baby hairs. I definitely had the inspo pick up for me to mimic and see how her baby hairs was flowing. Definitely take your time. The pencil flat iron definitely helped with creating these fluffy baby hairs. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. That's how I created these baby hairs and this whole style. I did have to pluck and also cut and trim and do all that just so it can not look like it's too extra out. These baby hairs are very dramatic. <laughs> So I just put an elastic band back onto my edges while I start working on the rest of the hair. What I do is just water it up and then detangle and use Gagne Fruitis. So for the final step, I'm taking this root cover up spoolie brush thing. I don't even know what it's called, but I have it linked down below. I'm just going to clean up the parting because I did over bleach a little bit and the parts look very like spaced out so here I'm just trying to make the parts a little bit more crisp and more natural you cannot tell like I'm so glad I invested in this product so if you 
may, may have over bleached your unit definitely invest in this little spoolie or the spray I have both the spray and the spoolie method but yeah that's basically it you guys I love how this turned out let me know down below if you like this hairstyle and you would rock it perfect for the summertime thank you so much kalei hair company for letting me try out your beautiful unit don't forget you guys to like comment and subscribe for more videos down below and i'll see you in my next video bye